Rainbow Operation. Oh my gosh, we're gonna put this tree central in the body bag. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, put him in the body bag. Yeah, let's get him. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. What? We're in the middle of something. Get out. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas to you too. It's Merry Christmas time. It's it's the holidays. This is December. I don't think I'm going to get my big review out in time for for uh, December and the holidays. So I kind of have to wish you guys a Merry Christmas while I can. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm Noah Price, your Christian gamer. Uh, I love video games, especially JRPGs and RPGs. And today, let's talk about Elden Ring. Again, I already kind of mentioned the reason why I'm making this video is one, because I don't think I'm going to get my big review out in time. So I do want to put out a video for you guys. And this topic has been on my mind for a good while, because recently and for a long time now, I've been playing Elden Ring. It's a big game. <laughs> So I haven't finished this game yet. And so I've been streaming a lot on my other channel. My more more gameplay side channel is Hero Scrub. If you want to come join the stream. This looks like a little courtroom. I declare you guilty. For being too cool. Definitely do that. But I've been busy still playing Elder Ring and moving into this obviously new place uh i have a better time to actually play with my twin brother he's the only person who i know as a friend wise a connection who's actually playing elder ring so he's my only chance to play cooperation in elder ring so we recently have been able to this exceeds this this topic so much of elder ring and it's online really this is more in general of the souls games and how they're online functions compared to other online games and just it makes you ask the question of why <laughs> but getting into the meat of this video there's really just three main components i would like to say there is when it comes to elder ring and the souls online features first off we got the instant and probably the one you will find most of the time whether you're trying to seek out online or not and that has to do with what i would call messaging there's really two types of messaging in this game, and they're very helpful, and you'll find them frequently throughout the game. The first one is signs. You can write down signs, little words, and kind of give a little phrase of either, well, most of the time, trying to give help to a certain situation, or even just to troll, maybe. <laughs> Again, uh, this has a weird feature, because in itself, when you're trying to make these, for some reason, we're not living in the modern day to where you could just literally text out what you want to. No, you have to grab certain phrases and kind of throw them together and hopefully come across the idea that you are trying to give to a random player who may come across your sign. Um, there is a reward for actually getting good messages. If you're doing a good message, someone could appraise it and actually say, hey, that was a good message. Thank you. And because of that, in game while you're playing, you'll actually get a refill of your drinks. Kind of helpful. So it's actually a little small incentive to actually, you know, put out a good message, not troll. But there's nothing wrong with trolling in this game. So troll away if you want the second type of messaging and this is probably more reliable in some regards because of its nature and that's blood stains <laughs> if you find a blood stain on the ground and you touch it you get to see how somebody out in the world died before it's a little helpful to get information of like oh maybe i can get an idea of maybe what they're up to you don't get to see what they're fighting all you get to see is how they died so maybe they're trying to make a jump and it's clearly a jump that you can't make and that confirms it with seeing someone's blood stain i don't know that it's free endless and it could be kind of funny when you're in an area where it's like how did you die here i don't understand Player versus player in the online, out in the wild west fighting players. There's really two different styles of this. The first one is, well, simply, again, as mentioned, out in the wild. People don't really do this one anymore. Uh, <laughs> mostly because just recently, a free DLC came out for Elder Ring. Introducing the Colosseums, a spot to where you could basically have more of an organized uh, PvP. A location, if you're seeking it out, it makes it much easier for people who have been trying to do PvP so far. A lot of times in many Souls games, there are certain locations that are kind of ideal and become popular as a, 
well, this is kind of where you want to go if you want PvP. Uh, you don't have to worry about that uh, now because they have an organized spot, which is nice and helpful to those people. And I got bodied a lot doing it. <laughs> I did win some, and it is interesting to see that they do have their own ranking system, but unlike most other games, this ranking system isn't, like, doesn't have any rewards. This isn't an online competitive game. This online feature is more for yourself. It does have a ranking to kind of show kind of where you're at and kind of show how much you might be better than the other person, but still vague enough that it's not the main point. The main point is to go have fun doing PvP with your weird builds, obviously. But that's not the only thing. The Coliseum is great because it does have other features like, hey, you want to do a bunch of people 3v3? With ashes, of course, <laughs> chaos is what it is. I would show more game footage of myself playing, but I couldn't find any because that's always fun. <laughs> Whatever. I think fitting guys, that is, I think this takes us to our last point. And the last kind of online feature is cooperation. You can play with other people, especially if you're struggling. Uh, and a lot of times it feels like this is just more similar to how you can find, sometimes have NPCs before a fight of a big old boss fight. You can summon an NPC to help you out. A actual other person bringing in to play with, uh, this is much more than just the boss fight. It is technically that, but in Elder Ring and even in some other games, you actually can journey together in a big old open area. How do you do this, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because... Boy, is it complicated. <laughs> Again, mentioning with my brother being nearby and us getting to do cooperation together, I had to learn. This was my first time ever doing it in a Souls game. I've played the other Souls games, but I've never done cooperation, never had this opportunity. So I was excited to do that. And as you can tell, I was using a alt account to do this and we were having fun. Um, we also got invaded for some reason. What the heck, man? <laughs> uh, but... Uh, again, this is not a how-to, um, like, I, I didn't even realize how to, what does the small effigy do? Small golden effigy is an online item that sends a cooperation summon sign to a nearby summoning pool. You need to activate the pool before using it. <laughs> Tarish Frill Ring, this too is an online, they're the same thing. They, they're for slightly different, like, reasons and occasions, I guess, if you have like a you don't have a clear that area you don't know exactly where your cooperation partner is at then you could they're very much the same item and that's partially the point is a little bit confusing and that's why you kind of do got to look it up i guess you don't have to look it up but I, at least i had to so no shame if you had to i guess i don't know but cooperation is definitely fun it's interesting they do a great job so you don't get overpowered by it but it does have a little fun if you want to play together I have to admit, I've had a lot of fun with it. It's been an interesting good play with my brother, who definitely plays a different style than me. He's somebody who's like, oh, I don't want to waste my time. Let me look up this crazy build and then just seek after this build. Definitely not what I went for, but hey, it's definitely a play style. So these are the three big ways you're going to be finding online in Elder Ring. If you don't have online, then you won't see these features and... For one side of it, that's not the worst thing in the world. You still get the full Elden Ring experience, I would like to say. I think you don't lack it in conversation of getting explained and talk about your, your adventure, your journey, and the experience you went through, which is great. But with how the Elden Ring and the Souls games in general, how their online works, it's almost something that really does connect them together. Just the weird and jankiness of it has charm to it like the idea of the summoning signs and even of writing down messages of being like hey here's this thing these quirks i don't know in some regards it's the idea of if you put somebody in a box they can be more creative with it when they have more limitations then it forces you to be more creative with what you got and you kind of see this here instead of just being able to just text wherever you want in a message you have to get phrases and you can get fun with it playing with phrases and i think it works together to bring a very fun and enjoyable community that's why when i started playing elder ring and even still now when the free update of the dlc with the pvp came out I got the online because, well, I want to be a part of this community and this experience. Even though this community is a weird one. It's very much a weird one that, like, likes to 
talk crap to other people for not being a boss. I don't know. It's weird, but it makes sense. Like, I understand wherever my brother's struggling with that boss, I'm just, like, giving him a hard time. Like, wow, you're still struggling with that, huh? <laughs> it's just part of the experience. But in general, I've really enjoyed being a part of this online. So for anyone out there who has online... I encourage you to do, do one of these features. Do one of these three if you haven't done it before. If you haven't left messages, maybe leave some messages in the world, whether trolled or not. Maybe if you haven't invaded, maybe just go to the Coliseum and, and do some PvP. <laughs> but that's it for today. I'm Noah Pricey, Christian Gamer. I hope you guys are having a great holiday time. Uh, I've been super busy, as you can tell. I'm in a new space, so... Oh man, and I have a close friend of mine getting married, so I'm a part of that helping him out, and it's just like, oh, I don't have time. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a good time, a great holiday season. We'll see if I can get my big review out in time for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But as always, if you want to catch my videos, even though they take forever to come out, please subscribe and actually hit that bell notification. These are the times where it really matters. Is it takes forever for a video to come out. So if you want to actually be notified when it finally comes out, there you go. Also, I have the, if you go to my channel, check the community tab. I'm trying to use that more to keep it in touch and maybe share some information on the behind scenes. So if you want to check that out also, but otherwise I'm out of here. Jesus loves you. Bye. I'm going to play more PVP. Madness build. Let's go.